like, it's like it's a like football <laughs> field of <laughs> Tiniest antiques. Vendors Mall. And it actually is, I think, something like four, is it 400,000? Square, I don't know, it's giant. Feet. It literally, it's I think, is like an old boat. I think it's an old boat yeah. warehouse. Oh, that's the Van Gogh. This was the Van Gogh <laughs> oh. that we found. Such a First good score. thing. Didn't I mean, get it. Didn't get it, but. We put it back. I mean, it. I have so many Van Goghs <laughs> that. Yeah. I didn't need another, so we put that back. Cluttering that the walls. Day. This yeah, is just definitely. cute. I think we just got this because we, we just did. loved the we way it was We just love some of these booths. Some of these booths, we didn't Ugh. get anything, but we just loved the way so they well were set curated. up. And there were fun, kitschy, curated booths, and this one was one of them, and they just had a lot of good records playing. I think that's one of the reasons we like that booth, too, because I think they were actually, like, playing yep. some rockin' records. Yep. So we were just checking out all the, like, graphics here and, like, checking out what they had. I mean, I definitely love to see the different graphics there, yeah. but I don't think we took any home that mm -hmm. day. Then we were looking at this Fiesta where, again, I'm always looking at Fiesta. That is modern Fiesta, and you can tell by the coloring there. I think that's like cinnabar and persimmon and cool. maybe scarlet in the back. But those are modern colors post-1986. And then we found this booth with that cool papazon. And this is one of my favorite booths. This is one that, like you were saying, is finely curated. Mm -hmm. I love, like, almost everything she has in there I would totally buy. Love so it. we see some studio pottery down on that shelf. And then you go up to this great vintage painting with some glassware. Yes, Her there's an Arlo, us. which I can understand. <laughs> that is, an amazing painting, which is much like our... Um, painting that we yeah. picked up at Kobe's that day yeah. but yeah I just love her booth with all of the studio pottery there and then we get down to some baskets that they had with um, this Papasan chair um, and that was in really good shape but mm -hmm. I didn't spend much time. There were two of them. So there was Rad. a pa pair of those. Another and Roadrunner. A Roadrunner. <laughs> so a wooden Roadrunner. That's really fun. Yeah, and we were just literally, I think we just liked we the like frame and that it in so matched the yeah. painting that we held it because it was I just like the we green like, on green. Wouldn't you like to disappear yes. into that place I want to too. go to here. And, I think we want to yeah. go to that watering hole and just like yeah. dive in. Not I have could, to right. live in society. And labor <laughs> any longer. Yeah. We'll just, that's we'll where we're going to put Crocodiles. Yeah, that's watch all, out for all. crocodiles, but <laughs> or alligators or no, okay, or, uh, my bad, my bad. So really, where strange. would that be? Good. Fine, okay. Because we could set up our bed and breakfast there, yeah. and live you really forever. did disappear. I really yeah, like, disappear. We got a plan right that All the devil eggs. And then we did thingies. find a lot of egg trays. This okay. was egg tray season. I think we were looking <laughs> right around Easter time. So they do roll out the egg trays for the season, and we were remarking about how many. We had come across. I also that day. want to do a wall o egg trays. I think oh, it could be so artsy, like, devil. like all the devil. like, <laughs> like because they're so pretty and graphic. You could literally different sizes. I think it would look super rad. Like, it would. People, it would be like when um, it's the styles like, are all different. Yeah, yeah. And I liked. I liked. Um, I used to take those medallions, like ceiling medallions, uh -huh. and well, you could sure make like a grouping of those. Oh, those were the fantastic enamel dishes. Yeah, enamel doodads. And uh, I do love an enamel dish. Those are enamel on copper, I Beautiful. think. Beautiful. And I have a little collection of those at my home. Um, but those were all great. I really like that one that's blue with the yellow and orange, almost like lightning bolts, lightning bolts. through them. I just think that's a unique well, design that I haven't like... seen. But yeah, they're good little good prices. Um, those you know, could for go a between collector. and around pictures, yeah. like too on a wall. Like, oh, in yeah. a gallery wall, yeah. definitely. You want to like mix it up they're sometimes so in a gallery. I mean, I know some people like their gallery walls to look like very symmetrical and mm -hmm. like black and white. But I really like just kind of an eclectic mix of everything. Mm -hmm. So I think those could look really great in a gallery wall. That's the lower wall. intestines. Mm -hmm. That one. <laughs> the amoeba. <laughs> Amoeba, right the the sigmoid colon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a few things about that. Oh, and those one of those fantastic starburst clocks. I'm not sure if that was a George Nelson, but um, I do 
love those. This is another this one we just like. Lazy iconic. leopard. I, we did. We loved the look of this booth. Yeah, there was a lazy leopard just lounging around that lazy ass. Yep. <laughs> and uh, cool on. light fixtures. I just like the way uh, the collection of things that they had there. Mm-hmm. Um, some copper uh, Moscow mule cups. Big ass basket. Big ass basket twigs. with a wine <laughs> display. Another shag rug that I'm sure has seen some shagging. Yep. <laughs> And we're just looking. This just looks like some rando kind of things. Mm-hmm. You know, you will find some booths with some random um, random items, but those are beautiful pottery right there. Yeah. Especially those um, two with the leaf um, designs. Those were really nice. I think I might start collecting that just to dis- just to right? use for Isn't serving because it so it's so rad. Yeah, yeah and somebody lo- made re- it and loved it. And, it's yeah. so great. And then yeah. abandoned it. Yeah, I still I have those. one. I still <laughs> collect those. A lot I legit of still have the one you made in high school with a lid. Aww. I legit like that you gave to me. I still have a mean? box of special hooters. ones that I put away. More hooters. <laughs> I just love those little owlies. We've got some coffee mugs, some barware. I like those blue coffee mugs a lot. Those mm-hmm. are cute. Like, yeah, those are very, rad. Like, very regal. Neat. Yeah, very neat design on those. It looks like we've got some collectible barware down there. Souvenir stuff. Horse racing and derbies. Mm. Wow. We got some clothes. I liked this. I... Never look at clothes at antique malls because I feel overwhelmed too much by oh, so much stuff. There's as it so is. much I know, and especially and this I place never is do. really overwhelming. And I really should because I feel like you're, you're gonna get the best of the best. That is true because they find like the best of the best vintage yeah. and is, put it there. Now I don't know. Is that Joseph's amazing Technicolor? <laughs> it kind vest? of is. Yeah, it really kind of is. Like this patchwork um, tapestry knitted vest. I really liked it. I love it. Yeah, uh, it was twenty five dollars, which I thought still, was a really great yeah, deal. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I would such pay markup deal. when it, I don't with, have to hunt for yeah, that. Yeah, with the zipper. Because, that yeah, was like a you said, they score. Pick the best of the, the best. best of the mm-hmm. best, so you don't have to dig through the thrift store. So sometimes it yeah, is definitely worth go. paying up if you're in a setting like and that. And you're supporting. Plus, you are an, yeah supporting, supporting another a small business yeah, totally. um, owner. So this was a really cool macrame craft um, book. Ask you what macrame is. Macrame is. A art form of knotting fiber art. and braiding. It's a fiber art, yes. um, and it's a mixed media. You can incorporate metals and woods into the fiber. I don't think, I don't think you're allowed um, to do hummus. that. Hummus. Yeah, the, <laughs> yeah, the, 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 it's very innovative. Um, I haven't done that, but I'm never a, a critique of art. I, there's no right and wrong way. So <laughs> feel free to explore the medium as there's you will. Poo and yeah, there's the bounciest poo. Oh, and uh, some more records. Um, and I'm not really sure what that is. A wall. <laughs> it's a wall. Yeah, a wall that's basket. my lovely That's, a, that's a, uh, tool, right? Yeah, that is. I think it's a planer. Like planer, a hand planer. Yeah, hand planer. But yeah, and we're checking out some of the books and things they have there. That was cool. That's like a bottle opener. Yeah, that's sick. And like a piece of natural wood. That was really mm-hmm. neat. And then, oh, some nice kimonos. Mm-hmm. Oh. But yeah, I do love vintage clothing at um, at some consignment shops too. And that's one of those um, brass cut. Uh, or it's like a torch cut brass. It looks like a butterfly. Yeah. So a torch cut b- brass butter- butterfly, and that was thirty seven dollars. It's super cute. Yeah. Um, I do little like treasure. Yeah, treasure. Yeah, little treasure. Ooh. Oh, and more hooters. More <laughs> hooters. We got some hooter mugs here. Fancy lady handles. Fancy, <laughs> fancy lady handles, as you might call them. Well, that one's double down because you got the gal the on the side and, and yeah. the actual. And I think you can. But I like the one to the left because it's the... a little more like accurate with little bumpies on the yes. aerials. Yes. I'm like, look at you. You're like, like going oh, for. She's real life. Yes. Yeah, she's real life accurate. You can drink out of the nipple. Found that interesting. Oh, yeah. and those are really cool. It's just like Slippy a cups. No. Teak wood. What? I don't even know what kind of. Bird that is some sandpiper? bird, sandpiper. Sandpiper. Yeah. Yes, yep. I was gonna say some bird that lives on the sea. Yep. Seabird. Um, seabird. It's a seabird. It's a seabird. It's an ocean Ooh, bird. It's an ocean cool. bird. And then those are some cool like beer um, pint glasses with some Pilsner. clipper ships. Pilsner. Classy ass yes. looking blue ones. Right. Yeah. So fancy. Really pretty blue. There's your yes. ceramics. Yep. Getting some into more that. studio pottery. You can see a theme going on in this shop day. Mm-hmm. 
But um, yeah, some Cocapelli pottery in the back. He normally has Not a boner. Sure. Does Traditionally, he really? he's <laughs> supposed to have a big old boner. I didn't realize he was a phallic a silhouetted symbol. ding dong. And, <laughs> I had no idea. But they typically they take it, it out, off I think, because it's because just, of you know modern general, American culture. Uh, yeah, consumption the is prudish. not. Nature. It's not about oh, that. Oh, little that like, begonias. Oh, that is I so cute. Begonias. And that's like needlepoint. That's my favorite. Like someone made that with love. love. Begonias. Oh, so we're off so the, the boner thing? Now, okay. I really yeah, I think we're moving on, Morgan. Um, so I almost bought this. Um, it was a little out of my price range, but I love these needlepoint pillows oh, with yeah. the velvet back. They wanted $58 for it, but it had butterflies all yes. over it. It had farfalas. So just adorning the entire thing so oh I God. literally like was torn like do I buy this or do I not and I left it behind and I went back a few weeks later and it's gone so um, someone else is enjoying that so yeah. I knew they would also I just put together that for fall pasta is butterfly shaped pasta oh just yes. when you said that Sorry. <laughs> you're Side like note. oh <laughs> yes oh, it's all far coming far. together <laughs> yes for fall um, and Papillon is yeah, uh, butterfly-shaped ears for the little oh, dogs. Yeah. Because yeah. oh. their Papillon is oh. butterfly. That's why I we knew Ashley wasn't a Papillon. She was a long-haired chihuahua because she didn't she have, didn't like, have the, the big, the real, yeah. full-blown flutter-by ears. ears mm-hmm. Yeah. And she's dead now, so it's whatever. Oh, <laughs> oh rest in peace. Yeah. Rest in peace. Again, so yeah, we were close. checking out some, like, jean skirts. They had some, like detailing at the bottom we've got oh this was a cool hand-tooled leather i think that's like chichen itza maybe yeah and i don't it wouldn't actually be hand-tooled they stamp oh, them they literally stamp? like they literally yeah they they carve dies and oh. then they pressure they just like uh heat stamp yeah. no it's actually just pressure wet leather oh. and then just pressure yep Oh, pressure very like cool. a hydraulic. So it's almost so. like a way of mass producing yep, exactly. that stamp. But yeah, exactly. it was, that but was so like cool and still super done cool. hand yeah. because it was assembled by hand. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Do you think that, and this that's is for Bernie Sanders, Bernie Sanders, Sanders I think. Oh, that's, that's what I was crazy. thinking. I was, yeah. I was Did really he use thinking. it or it was just I made for him? He made it. He might have. He made it? <laughs> I <think> so. <laughs> he made and, and I think he made one for his friend Daniel. Daniel? Yeah, like for the homie. For his homie, Daniel. So, oh, another Hooters. I mean, there's a lot. They're very in fashion these days. Yeah. Um, owls forever. These owls. Yeah, forever. Owls forever. So cute. Yes. They're very wise. Yep. They, they definitely have there's a lot of wisdom. Some We've got some more artwork. <laughs> We've got some cardinals, a needlepoint cardinal. I think maybe a cardinal. I don't know. I could be wrong. I'm not a bird. Um, uh, I'm not a bird surgeon <laughs> Orn- here. Ornith- ornithologist. Not, yeah. Oh, there you go. Now, I do have some of those brass cranes that we just saw in the background. I have a pair of those at home, which I really like. They're kind of like a Hollywood Regency look. Um, brass These were rad. Crane. Those are I so cool. I wanted to go back and get those, actually. The Leo and the Cancer, especially, because that's John YouTube. and I's. Yeah. Um, astrological signs that's the thing there's just so much it's hard so to many like, it's yeah. just tonnage it's just amazing i mean you really do get somewhat overwhelmed in a place like this because there's so much square mm-hmm. footage i mean i feel like that's when you just need to zone in on your like where you feel you just go where you feel like okay i'm going, gravitating yes, to like, like this booth is drawing me in yes. and i'm going to check this out in detail and that one i'm just not even going to check it yeah, out yeah like this person I'm gets not... my aesthetic or gets what i'm into yeah, go I just there. Yeah. yeah but sometimes to wear yeah, yeah we're looking at oh. some of this fiesta and the dance right there so that's a dance enamel wear platter and um, I also was checking that out because I do um, have a collection of dance mid-century like enamel wear, right. and that lasts forever. If you can find it in really good shape, mm-hmm. that kind of cookware you can use um, forever and ever. I think that's a paella pan, and I do have a yellow one right. of those that I got at a thrift store for $10, and I normally see them only at vendor malls, and I have seen them also on eBay, but they're upwards of $68, $70, yeah. so... Um, those are good things to look for secondhand. And then the Fiesta wear as well. But look at that amazing turquoise. Yes. So Beautiful. I really, really loved that case. We were looking at the bolo ties there. And they had a lot of bolo ties. Mm-hmm. They've never come back into fashion. They really haven't. I know that there was like a, someone who was trying to bring it back. It but just, yeah, it just it really hasn't. Hit. Yeah. And I think that's probably why they had so many. 
Um, so we almost there. could, like, especially like the Sandras, right? Like the the metal workers, the silversmiths and, yeah, and the like, smiths. You could rings. probably repurpose yeah, that. Into yeah, into rings. Because that's just never going to be a thing. A thing again. <laughs> yeah, no. And you could probably make a really cool pendant yeah. necklace. Yeah, sure. um, big you know, ass earrings. Yeah, definitely. Oh, I love big ass <laughs> earrings. Word. Yeah, bowling bag. Mm-hmm. Now I this love is that. this is actually hand. Is stamped. that hand? Stamped? Yeah, which is oh. trippy. Because I mean, again, really quick, like real quick work. But that's right. standard. Yeah, there's not a lot that's, of detail. That's more like what on. you'll see like in TJ, which Those I love. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, totally. Affordable. Yes. They're For knocking cheap. it out. Yeah, it's not like highly detailed, but it's hand done and it's rad and yeah, it's, it's so like fun. phallic. Yeah, yeah, still iconic. Yeah, there you go. Now we did end up getting this fiesta bowl. We, I did because yeah. you know I'm a fiesta and fanatic. And we don't typically go buy in buy together. In. <laughs> we yeah. don't pull our we money. Don't, like, <laughs> we got I this bowl. We chipped <laughs> in and we bought this. We will share it. Spends a qu- one. We of have the, a schedule. One of the seasons at my house. Then we alternate between <laughs> the three of us. So it was just holding other things. It was. It was holding other things. I had and like bands your ass and was buttons. Like, hey. I was like, dump this shit out because yeah. I want this bowl. This bowl's for sale. And it was $35 for a big Fiesta mixing bowl. I think that's a number five. Um, I thought that was a really good price. I just picked up a set, I think, of five mixing bowls for $150 on Mm -hmm. eBay. And that was an exceptional deal to get five of the seven bowl set. And I think the number five that I have is green. And it does have a chip not a chip like those chips. Those are small little flea bite chips that I can deal with. But I think the one I have has a really big chip that was like chipped <coughs> out and glued back in. Uh-huh. So that is an old Fiesta piece with a small F for the Fiesta mark on the bottom. Um, it does have some like glaze irregularities, but those are factory flaws. So they don't really cont- count those as flaws. That one is a, a little like nick After, in it. Aftermarket yeah. flaw. Aftermarket flaw. <laughs> a so living that flaw. One, yeah, like a usage flaw, mm-hmm. but otherwise is in really it's good shape beautiful. for a mixing bowl. Yeah. The mixing bowls don't you find them in pretty bad shape because they were actually used quite often. And so we we're looking at all this amber glass, and there's a fairy lamp in the back right there. There's a little amber fairy lamp. If it was like fall, I might have bought that little fairy yeah, lamp. Yeah, I might have bought all that I shit. Bought a oh, lot of that I amber never glass. Even heard that, a fairy lamp. I do like, um, I do like amber. Yeah, it's like you can put a votive candle or you can put those little well, like gotta be so fairy pretty. lights. Those little like um, lights, they're battery operated it. in there. Does it cast just, a prettier? Yeah, it does look really pretty. Um, the, the light's got to The come light kind of shimmers yeah. off of them. Yeah, and so those are really cute oh, to have. I and like, no, another thing I want. Vintage glass display. Displays. Um, and then this is where we found you some found barware, barware yeah. that I ended up picking up on that trip. So as we were checking out this um, cool shelf of barware, I noticed this um, fix elixir fixer set, so and there were cool. five. And they were just funny. And I like barware that has like kind of like kitschy, funny um, like sayings on them. So those were like different um, mother-in-law elixir, Mm -hmm. frequent dosage assures immunity, take before exposure, youth elixir, add spring to your fling, do not overwind. And there was like income tax elixir, which I, think I know you were that putting was like stuff down so you could grab I probably them. was. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, hold, hold, <laughs> let yep. me grab these, okay. And I wanted to see the price there, and so they had sixty on this set of five, so they come out to obviously a little more than ten dollars a piece, but which is probably full retail. Um, they were missing some of the like gold guild, mm-hmm. but I picked those up just because the um, I've never seen them before, and yep. the subject matter was so much fun. Uh, that... Comment below what you think the the sixth one was. <laughs> yes, actually, there's eight. Oh, really? Oh, so, you found yeah, them? Okay, there so is you'll... a set of eight, uh-huh. and um, I uh, found them on like eBay. I don't remember what they are, but if you have comments, you can, do it on the, you can on leave the them hall below. Too, right? yeah, yeah, we'll go over that, and in the we'll hall. go over that in the hall. Which and so ones those you have was... and which ones you're missing? Yeah, we started. Um, oh, that's pretty. Looking at these brass um, wall sculptures, that's really and I remember that. that was a one like obviously some really pretty trees. And then we saw that magnificent clock over there, and then this cool <laughs> little, little owl. hooter owl. Yes. So um, those are all those like 
um, torch cut brass pieces that we were checking out. And then this was like a bookshelf with some ephemera and I don't know if those were vintage cameras, but I do love these vintage ephemera. So we've got some Christmas shit right there. <laughs> this is like a fancy word, like ephemera. And then, and then some fancy shit. shit. Yeah, some Christmas shit up there. We've got some baskets, valentines. Look at those adorable valentines. I love vintage valentines. Yeah, so right. Valentine's Day. Cute. They were six dollars. He's like, "Hey, hey, girl." Oh, She's like, "I don't know, dude. Yeah, wait for you consent. needed personal Back space. Did you see? She was vibing him seriously. She's like, She's like, like, I don't know, dude. You're not my you're type. But I love her haircut. I think personal I'm gonna space. get my haircut like that next time. But a beautiful, like underwater nymph lady. Mm-hmm. And nip. then you mispronounced nip. <laughs> nip. <laughs> yep. Oh, and. Oh, I don't know what those Ooh, are. We have some brass. <laughs> And we plate? have some, Platter. I wanted to see those little figurines. I thought those were cute, the little Asian those figurines. Those little My Little Ponies? Oh, oh yeah, My Little guys. Ponies. Those are cute. My yeah, little butt's facing out. I don't know. Someone's out. like, yeah. we're going to have this like, a horse's ass face. I, I was stuff. looking at the <laughs> yellow plate to see <laughs> if, if that fiesta. was Fiesta or anything interesting. Um, and then I found some little wood bowls, which... Mm, yeah, it's like twenty nine dollars. I'll leave those there. Mm-hmm. And then uh, some art, art for eighty nine, and that's really cool art. I've seen that before. Those mm-hmm. really pretty geisha. Mm-hmm. And then that clock. I don't know if those are like soy sauce. They look like a little soy sauce containers. Oh, aren't they for egg uh, egg drop soup? Oh, is it egg drop soup? I could be wrong. Mm. But no, I, I think oh, you're yeah, right. I think you're right. I forgot about that guy. The soup spoons. Oh, that's cute. Remember, we're like, what yeah. is this? Is this like a little salesman sample? And then we opened it up and it was a little radio. And it looked like, it looked a, like bookshelf. a little bookshelf. A little bookcase. Yep. And now we have some like vintage Fiesta. That's chartreuse. So that's one of the colors that came out in the 50s. So they have like original colors. Um, there were six original colors. And then they had a few colors they released in the 50s. And chartreuse was one of those colors. Um, that was, I think, like chartreuse, gray, rose, maybe <laughs> burgundy. Yeah, that was Just my... Been there for a they minute. were quite dusty. <laughs> yeah, they've been there for a minute. <laughs> Um, so I left a little smile for the next shopper <laughs> <laughs> to enjoy, the joy. Yeah, spread the joy, but I was checking those out. Those are deep, um, plates. Yeah, what a <laughs> stupid thing. Fucking bowls. Bitch, they're <laughs> bowls. <laughs> This is not Mr. and Mrs. Fiesta. Yes, yeah. I don't know Homer who's Loughlin. branding this shit. Listen, Homer. This is definitely it's a, a bowl. bowl. <laughs> you boner. <laughs> Your deep fucking place. How dare you. <laughs> Again, we'll play this video. We'll, we'll just... We'll be we'll adding some video. Yeah, 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 we'll put some this. footage. Yeah, I'll kind of like... I think I could probably take some um, footage of our, cool. like... Uh, some of the hauls that we got, but thanks for joining us yeah. on this shopping trip. We had a great time. I've just been having day. so much fun, like checking out all this stuff with you guys, like clowning around on our shopping trips are yeah. super fun. If you guys enjoyed it, I hope you can um, enjoy some more of our videos. Subscribe. Hit the like, share, and subscribe button below. I know it's cringe, but. We have to have some of you help us out with this. So thanks, guys, and have a great day. Bye. Bye.